My first BL manga is gonna be about Greetings aspiring artist Sergeant Bilko style Are you looking for an affordable tablet to draw your naughty stuff? Is this an ad? No, this is not an ad. This video is not sponsored. Artists will just send this to me for free. They didn't pay me. They should. I don't know if you guys have heard of Artisol, even I am quite new to them. Actually, I discovered them somewhere around last year when I was looking to upgrade my tablet into a display tablet. I was looking around and I saw a lot of good reviews about their tablets, so I decided to follow them on Twitter. And then earlier this year when I went on Instagram, I followed them there as well. And here we are. But this is not a display tablet. They sent me one of their newest pen tablets, the A1201 pen tablet that was released earlier this year. And as of this recording, I've been using this for more than two months. So this was actually a lot bigger than what I was expecting. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> okay. It comes with 8 express keys at the side and 16 soft keys at the top which you can customize for different programs. It also comes with a battery-free digital pen so you don't have to charge it. And then you have the Type-C cable to connect this to your laptop, desktop, tablet or phone. And yes, you can use this with your Android phone but you'll need to have this OTG adapter. Then you have 10 replacement nibs with the nib remover. And look at that, it even came with a pen case. How adorable! So for this tablet, you can use it without the driver but if you do that, you won't be able Able to use the express keys yeah now in order to install the driver all i had to do was go onto their website download the a1201 driver and voila you have a very simple interface to calibrate the pen customize the express keys so what did i decide to draw with this did i finish up my recce selfie fan art no did i finish up my painter of the night mafia au fan art no I decided to draw, no, to create my own BL manga. I've gone into deep. Okay, so I'm actually going to be using Sariru's BL prompt creator. I've played around with this before just to see what I would get. And I'm telling you, there are some crazy prompts here. Yeah, like, let us let me show you an example. A tattooed man and a sick alien huddle for warmth at school. Very specific. A brave god and a devoted wolf man have a fight at home. A scary looking god and a demon lord take turns making breakfast for each other at the local park. What? Crazy stuff! So let's see, my first BL manga is gonna be about A lazy babysitter and a creepy grim reaper help an old lady out at the bookshop Huh? Okay, after some thinking, this was the idea I came up with The grim reaper is a fudanchi No wait, let me finish One of the souls he collected was a hardcore fujoshi He was curious, read that person's BL collection and accidentally ended up learning about humans through BL manga and now he's a fudanchi. I don't know how to make him creepy. How do you make a reaper creepy? I thought of making him like Sebastian. That whole, I want your soul. I shall monitor it until it's complete and then feast on it. Or make him like Sunako from the wallflower, obsessed with all things death. But then, he's a reaper. That's his shtick. So I made him a fudanchi, who latches onto the lazy babysitter, his ideal uke or his muse. Now the lazy babysitter is so lazy that he's expressionless all the time, because he's too lazy to even move a muscle. I hope no one has done this before. A fudanchi reaper. Is there a BL like this out there? I hope not. But it does sound like a very cliche BL story, right? Fingers crossed no one has done this before. Now this whole thing is actually a huge challenge for me because fun fact, I only started drawing drawing this year. Yeah, let me explain. So I used to draw when I was young but I stopped when I was around 15 because I was not a very happy teen. I was very depressed and I just stopped drawing. I did draw realistic portraits for my college assignments. And I've explained before, about my 2D videos, my character is like Frankenstein. Eyes from here, hair from there. And it's made in Adobe Illustrator. It was sketched out but it's not in like anime anime style. And if you look closely, you can see a lot of imperfections because I rely on the anchor points whenever I want to change things up and it's just made in a way that's easy for me to animate. So I don't consider these 2D videos as drawing. Yeah, so I stopped drawing at 15 and earlier this year after cutting off that toxic person out of my life, I just was in a good place and I decided to start drawing again. I bought a sketchbook and tried to refresh my memory but I felt very limited drawing on paper and that's when I remembered. I have my own desktop now. I also had my Wacom tablet because when I was young, I didn't have any of these. I only drew on paper. So this Gintoki Paco fan art that I posted on Instagram is my first ever digital art in my entire life and my first time drawing after 10 years. So when I say creating this BL manga is a challenge, it's a real challenge. I was so rusty after not drawing for 10 years and to top that off, my first week with the Artisol tablet was not very smooth. Unfortunately, for some reason, I kept having problems with the driver. Whenever I switched on my desktop, there was a double clicking problem. Every single click I did with the pen was a double click, even after calibrating the pen and the functions. I had to 
uninstall and reinstall so many times I went crazy here I was feeling scared about drawing again after 10 years like is it too big of a dream to create my own BL manga but I couldn't even start drawing because I was too busy trying to figure out what was going on with the driver but then we are talking about me I did eventually solve the problem yeah I will say that I liked how smooth it felt to draw on this tablet because the digital pen is very lightweight and actually when I first held the pen it felt too light I even thought it was kind of cheap because my Wacom one was heavier compared to this but after trying it out with the tablet I realized that it was designed to complement the textured surface of the tablet drawing area so this pen feels really good to use on this tablet surface and another plus point is that the pen is battery free I've never used a tablet where I had to charge the pen so not much I can say over here but then I can imagine how frustrating it can be to have to wait for it to charge and then be able to draw so for this character I plan to make his dead fish eyes the center of attention and just give him dark long hair because my goal was to make him look as plain as possible he's not supposed to stand out so because of this I didn't face that much of a problem when designing his character my only focus was to make sure that he's designed in a way that's gonna make it easy for me to draw him again and again because anyone else have a hard time drawing the same character more than once why is it so hard I did a lot of experimenting and research observing how other creators are able to draw the same character a gazillion times and I did take note of a few things the eyes the style of the eyes must be the same unless it's like a comedic scene with a comedic expression the hair the hair is the main guy here give the character specific hair spikes that will become a part of their identity beauty marks you know like moles piercings this is just something extra to help people recognize the character better yeah so these are just a few things I realized I should focus on if I don't want to have trouble drawing the same character more than once so did he turn out the way I wanted him to no I wanted him to look more like mob from Zetai BL or like Gintoki with that dead fish eye he was supposed to look bored and annoyed and I did a lot to get that look adjusting the eyelids the eyebrow but for some reason no matter what I did he ended up looking hot right i mean not to pat myself on the back but he does look like a model like he looks very attractive so i had to change the initial personality i had planned out to this he's a freighter the dude's a lazy guy when his mom gave birth to him he was too lazy to even cry his only fixed job is babysitting his neighbor's kids on the weekend that's because his neighbor is a softy who's actually worried about him what a nice neighbor he's quite an expressive guy despite the way he looks he's just too lazy to move his muscles to match his emotions and i like gap more so of course my characters are gonna have gap moe gap moe is when the character's personality behavior attitude is the complete opposite from how they look like it just doesn't match at all i like that he's a very straightforward guy if you guys can't tell now to design the creepy reaper so i drew this on my second week using the tablet and during this time i fell in love with the soft keys of this tablet i did mention earlier that this tablet comes with 8 express keys at the side and 16 soft keys at the top which is so extremely convenient like bless their souls for this so while designing the Reaper, I did customize each and every express soft key for Clip Studio Paint and Photoshop. You have the option to customize these keys for all sorts of programs. And I love that the express keys were conveniently positioned at the side. So I did assign the main functions like undo, redo, zoom in, zoom out to these keys. And I went haywire with the soft keys. Like I'm telling you, these soft keys at the top is actually my favorite thing about this tablet. My baby. My only complaint is the feel of the express keys. Because if I have to be honest, they do feel quite cheap very plasticky and i'm not a big fan of the sound that they make you hear that you hear that so about this grim reaper i didn't know where to start with his design because i wanted him to look like a daddy daddy oh my god what am i doing <laughs> but i had no experience drawing a daddy i've always drawn gintoki's dead fish eyes even back when i was young so i didn't know how to make this reaper look creepy those who follow me on instagram are definitely aware of the struggle i went through with this reaper because i did share my hardships on my instagram story follow me on instagram jelly's world so after experimenting here and there i decided to make his eyes look pointy and sharp actually every inch of his body was made to look sharp how else am i supposed to draw my daddy but i think i dreamt too big because i wanted to give him piercings and tattoos but i did have a change of mind later on when i was drawing the main poster now regarding his outfit i was planning on making him wear a suit but isn't that cliche all the shinigami in anime and manga are always wearing suits looking all posh and sexy as they collect souls so i decided to put him in a robe later on yeah he's gonna be walking around the human world wearing his reaper robe i also initially gave him a tie but then i changed it to vile 
house where he would store the souls he collected for that day. But there was a slight problem. Have we forgotten? This thing that I'm drawing right now is my third drawing after 10 years. I don't know the basics behind drawing inanimate objects from which angle. Even in my 2D videos, I'm sure you guys can see that everything, they're just flat vectors. No dimensions. So if I have to be practical, it's best not to put anything that's going to be hard for me to redraw later on. I did decide to put a skull brooch on his rope collar, but that will be using a ready-made feature in Clip Studio Paint. Does he look like a daddy? No, he looks like a boy. Yeah. I tried, okay, I tried my best. I tried thickening his neck, but then it looked too thick. So as much as I wanted to draw a daddy, guess not now. Maybe one day. Actually, I'm not too sure. Maybe because I drew it, I can't see it. What do you guys think? Does he look like a daddy? So once again, I had to change the initial personality, background details I had planned. So unlike the usual Shinigami world, he's from a world where they have family, parents. I know, I know he's the god of death, but he has parents. It's my world, let me be. I am free to just come up with whatever shit I want, right? Yeah. He's just from a supernatural world where one of the jobs available is to be a Grim Reaper. And he just so happens to come from a prestigious family of Reapers. I know, I'm just making shit up along the way. I'm sure it'll make sense later on. We learned about humans through BL manga. Not the best way to learn. But blame it on the Fujoshi soul that he collected that time. This caused him to become fascinated with humans, assuming that the human world works like a BL manga. Hmm. It's kind of creepy. Imagine just seeing a reaper who happens to be a Fudanshi. He's actually an airhead. I need my gap, boy. And here's some unnecessary extra fun fact. He likes to cook. Who doesn't like a reaper for a chef? Now that I had my two main characters designed, it was time for the main poster or cover, whatever you want to call it. By the time I started sketching these two for the poster, I had already used this tablet for more than a month. Yeah, when I say I barely have time to draw, I really mean it. I drew this entire thing, the character design, the final poster, by designating one hour per day to work on this. Yep, so after one, two months of using this, I didn't have any problems. I will say that it is a decent tablet for a beginner, especially if you're on a budget and you're looking for a tablet that gets the job done. If you have the money, then I'd advise y'all to go for display tablets. But this also depends on what type of art you do or what you're using the tablet for. Like in my case, as a graphic designer, this one's good enough for the type of designs that I make. But when it comes to this type of digital art where I'm drawing in this type of anime style or making the 2D videos, I prefer to use a display tablet. When I first went shopping for a tablet, I didn't really have a clue on what to look for despite having watched tons of tablet reviews online. I remember, I literally went to the shop. Yeah, I went to Laoyat. That's like a huge, huge tech IT mall in Malaysia and the lady laid out lots of tablets explaining the pressure sensitivity and all but because I had not used one before I didn't have an idea on what exactly to look for so in the end I went with Wacom because it was a well-known brand but after using that I realized that famous brand does not equate to good quality because I had a lot of complaints that's why I went searching for other brands and somehow stumbled across Artisol so I will say don't worry much about your first tablet get whatever you can determine what is it you prefer what you wish the tablet had try to find out what kind of functions will help with your your art style and then upgrade to a tablet that has it all when you have the cha-ching. But if you already have the cha-ching, then give the big boys a try. This A1201 tablet is a decent one for a beginner. And like I said, if you just want to get the job done, the workspace is wide enough, the pressure sensitivity is also good, the beautiful, beautiful soft keys my favorite. It's nothing fancy, but it's good enough. It's also useful for those who draw on their phone since you can connect it to the phone. Unfortunately, I couldn't do that with mine, despite having the OTG adapter, because it wouldn't fit. They did say it works on Android, but it didn't fit on both my Android phones. It did, however, fit Irene's phone. So I used hers to test it out, and because it was Irene's phone, I didn't want to go snooping around, so I just opened Subway Surface. Which, as you can see, I can confirm that you can't play Subway Surface with this tablet, that's for sure. But yeah, you have this teeny weeny point now I have no need to use the tablet on my phone, so I guess this will come in handy for those who don't have a laptop or a desktop, those who draw on free apps on their phones. Another cool thing about this tablet is that you have a flexible workspace. So you can rotate this and use it at different angles, depending on your desk setup. I have no need for that though. So all in all, I'll give this tablet an 8 out of 10. A good one for beginners and gets the job done. Now the final poster. So I decided to make the babysitter slightly tanner than the reaper. He is the god of death. I'm gonna make him pale as hell. Get it? Pale as hell. <laughs> this reminds me of the Disney Hercules joke that Zeus made. Work yourself to death. I don't know if you guys in this era have heard of it. Where's my people? It's just something that was big when I was growing up. So pale as hell. I don't have much confidence painting like this for a dark skin character yet. But as a brown skin human being, I definitely intend on having dark skin characters in this story. Just gotta practice and do some research. I am a very fast learner, so I'm quite confident that with a little bit of practice, I'd be able to color a dark skin character in no time. Now I know the hands look ginormous, but 
but I swear that's how it needs to be. We always laugh at yaoi hands, but I'm telling you that that's what the people want. Look at these big old hands. So there you go. I'm giving the reaper yaoi hands. I will admit, I think I made them too big, but it's too late to make any changes now. I tried resizing it after painting, but it was too late. The problem is that I tried too hard to imitate the usual style of these types of BL story. I separated the fingers thinking that they had to look off. Now I regret that. I think the next time I draw, I'm just gonna go with how I think it should look, not how it usually looks in other BL covers. Not much thought went to the babysitter's eye color. It just matched his hair so I went with it. As for the reaper, he was supposed to have red eyes, but then it made him look very plain. So I decided to go with yellow, gold, like a lot more vibrant. I'm not so confident when it comes to shading clothes because I know that there are different methods to showcase different types of fabric, but since I have no clue with what I'm doing, I'm just shading it in a way that looks right to me. I have no idea what fabric his robe is made out of, but at least he has his clothes on. Or do y'all want it off? <gasps> You're nasty. Or maybe I should create a Patreon for the NSFW art of these two. What do you guys think? Anyone willing to pay to see them in their birthday suits? Because I have been eyeing a few drawing books that's specifically for those who want to draw BL poses. Once I get my hands on that, get ready for some spicy, spicy art. So judging by this image, I'm sure you guys can tell that this Reaper is a big guy. He's going to be super tall and lanky. So maybe the hands don't look that weird. Okay, nope, nope, nope. Just don't look at the hands. Do not look at the hands. I actually really like the Reaper hairstyle. I used to have this myself when I was in college, but I gave up on it because my hair grows super fast. Extremely fast. No point on having one side shaved because it'll grow back in less than a week. Seriously. And this is actually my favorite part of the digital process. Coloring the hair. It's just so fun. Am I weird or is it normal? I just love how satisfying it looks after everything. Now one annoying habit that I have is that I tend to make drastic changes after the painting process, which is so annoying. But things look different after being colored, no? Like his mouth and his entire expression. I changed it all over again to make him look more like the personality I created for him, the creepy airhead, but it was a lot of work to go looking for the layers and then adjusting everything. But I think the eyebrows this way does make him look more like his creepy Fudanchi self, right? He just looks creepier. My main struggle was with the Reaper's mouth, cause our babysitter looked very plain, so I wanted him to have a creepy smile, but the current smile didn't fit him. I needed him to look creepier. But this is a comedy though, so in the end, I decided to have him lick his lips. Y'all are some mind readers. Someone replied to this one day after I drew the lip licking mouth. Psychic! And I know it looks weird, but I'm never gonna go anywhere if I spend another month just trying to fix the poster. And it kinda looks okay after looking at it up close. I hope those who are still watching this are not bored by my commentary. I had a lot of fun sharing my progress on Instagram and reading your replies. I know a lot of y'all are artists yourselves, so who knows, maybe y'all are interested in seeing the behind the scenes of my work. I've never drawn like this on YouTube ever. Minus that 2D video OC sketch that I did a few years years ago, I privatized it because it was too cringy. As for the jewelry, now I love Clip Studio Paint so much, I only started using this program because I saw a lot of creators using this, but I had no idea what an amazing program this is. This is Clip Studio Paint X, the one with the one-time payment, that's where I got the piercings from. I did customize them into skull earrings, but so goddamn useful. I know the piercings look kinda tacky, but I'm just gonna go with it. I do have another teeny tiny struggle. I don't know what to name them. The setting is in Japan because it's easier. I mean, if you were a Fudanchi Reaper, where would you go to get your BL? Japan! But the Reaper will have to have a foreign sounding name for sure. Like, Barumunku Fezarian. Isaac Schneider. Hell, so fuck it away! It's a Gintama inside joke. So leave me your suggestions. I'm actually gonna leave it in your hands. What should they be named? I can't keep calling them Lazy Babysitter and Creepy Grim Reaper all my life. As for the title, I'm quite confused on how to call it in Japanese. Fudanchi Shinigami or Shinigami Fudanchi? Because in Japanese, Fudanchi is a literal word. How do I explain this? Fu means rotten, Danchi means boy, and Shinigami means Grim Reaper. So the rotten boy Grim Reaper. It's not used as a whole word like how we use it in the English speaking BL community. So if there's anyone out there who can help me out with the grammar here, let me know. I'll stick with Fudanchi Shinigami because after thinking about it, it does make sense in Japanese, but I just want to double check. And done. I did make some final changes to the background color which I forgot to record, but here you go. The poster or the cover. Oh my god, I feel so shy. I don't even know what you guys are going to say about this, but there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tablet review. I'll leave the link in the description so you can go check it out if you're interested. And about the cover, I did what I could. I tried my best. I don't want to waste any more time working on it. I'd like to move on. I do look forward to improving as I draw. So follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to be updated on this. Instagram especially because I'll definitely share all my struggles over there. Yeah, and I'll see you when I see you.